Hello, friend. My name is Raton. Please insert girder. <laughs> That's the best I can think of for a robot intro. I apologize. That was pretty stupid. Greetings all, it's Blue Knight. Welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. Previously, we went back to Core 2 and infiltrated the big robot factory. We managed to find an infobot that, cont that contains coordinates to Drek's fleet, where he's planning to blow up Belden in the sake of creating his new home planet. Now that Drek has made things personal, we're gonna go infiltrate his fleet around the Velden orbit. Welcome to, to the Chairman Drex fleet. You can see we got quite the quite the uh, level to go through. Huh? We got several ships we'll have to go to in order to find Chairman Drex. But for now, wait, I don't want to play that. <laughs> I keep forgetting that Circle is actually play the info bot. First things first, I actually want to go down here because we saw that. Uh, that is a secret area on this ship. So we're gonna go through that to see if we can investigate this room. Here's the last one. Actually, what about this rings thing a bit strangely, but whatever. Because the real problem we have to go through is another of these time segments going underwater. A bit more this time, I'm in at 20. But, there is a skill point where we have to go through this entire segment without taking a hit. And that's easier said than done. I was kind of using that last underwater segment that we were in. I think it was back at Quartz where we were getting the bulk grabber. Kind of like practice for this. Sometimes I have a good run on this, but other times I could be really, really unfortunate trying to get through this without taking a single hit it's mostly because of these fans you gotta pay attention to what speed they're going at and then try to move accordingly yeah of course you're going in the wrong direction you're gonna get smacked by one of their blades and just as I say that just not two seconds afterwards that happens actually I want to go to the left first if you go past this mine and go to the past this door, this is it gonna lead us to where the ending, the original ending, supposed to be? Uh? That's supposed to be where that question mark is. We're actually in the secret room, uh? and before our very eyes lies another gold bolt. But since I didn't get that. Uh, Get that skill point, I'll have to go through this entire segment all over again. <laughs> but at least they were kind enough to reset the timer, even though it's practically next door now. Oh, better be careful, don't want to take a hit from that mine. Even though I already failed the skill point, I still want, don't want to lose any more health. Go up here. And we have another prize. A very strange device that's in this room. Let's get all these crates first before we do go collect that. I should get my metal detector out while I'm at it. Because, of course, we see a bolt icon there, which means there's going to be more hidden bolts around this area. Hang on there, you item you. I've got all the time in the world before I can actually collect that. That's not like it's going anywhere or anything, so I'm not sure why I'm trying to make that kind of comment. I'm just being dumb right now. We picked up a code bot. Uh, this is pretty dumb, more or less, because I'm gonna say right now, you only get to use this thing once. And not in the entire game, but in the whole series. Trust me, we're gonna use this thing shortly after we're done with Drex Fleet, but 
I just wanted to see that for now. Just go and see that's a pretty dumb item. Huh? I'm not sure why they even created it just so it could be used once. I never even thought of using it again. I don't think it's in the remake either. So this is literally the only time in the entire series that the code bot is even, I guess, even acknowledged. We're back at the ship's observ not that that was the ship's observation deck we're at. I wanted to go through that uh, teleporter and proceed with the main mission, but I gotta get that skill point first. So you gotta excuse me for a minute. All right, I'm practically home free. Good. Got that skill point. That's how you really do it. Fortunately enough to for that uh, transport ship to come back. Because if it wasn't there, I'd be screwed. <laughs> but look at that skill point all the way. It took me a bit more trouble than I wanted it to, but at least I got it. So I don't think I don't have to think about that anymore. Now for the real meat and potatoes of this level. We gotta transport to each and every ship until we find Chairman Drek. And that's starting with the missile cruiser, which I think is that ship over there. Uh I think? Not sure. That was probably on like on the left or the right of that previous ship we were at. Now if I wonder if my weapon set's gonna be the same from last time. Actually not, I gotta change that too. So the main item that we'll be using for the first bit of this level is actually our hollow guys. Not just a one-time use for a singular level. So it's nothing there right now. Let's do that. So for the first bit, there's another skill point we have to we have to collect is to make sure to to get through this entire thing or at least this first bit without getting noticed. So core two more or less was kind of like practice for me in terms of this. As you can see, they got those security measures online again. We gotta be, be we gotta be careful about those. And it's also these robo must that we have to worry about too. But if you use your taunter, you can lure them in, and they'll be taken out by the lasers. You can do this more than once, actually. It's very uh, handy, and trust me, it will come in really good use down the line. Up there, and the jump, and then. Hello guys. Oh, never mind. <laughs> there was a transport right at the end too. Kind of worried about that, to be honest. I, that always tricks me. Come to think of it, it always tricks me. I always think I always think there's gonna be like one more enemy I have to worry about, but turns out there's just a transport to the dreadnought. Also, transport with the hall guys too, in case you want to be extra cautious. It's very good to do, uh, at least in my opinion. Cause you can never be too careful, careful of these kinds of segments. I'm still waiting for those guys to pop out again. So then when they turn around, I'll pull up my Walloper. And then take one out. I'll be sure to pull off this uh, strategy two more times before I proceed. Wait for them to turn around again and then come back out. It's so silly how these guys don't realize that one of their sentry bots, uh, their fellow sentry bots, has gone missing. Uh, I guess they weren't programmed to be smart, just programmed to be tough. So I guess that's another reason why Clank was the exception. He was actually programmed with intelligence, unlike the others. <laughs> okay, that's this segment cleared out. Okay, now this part can be a bit tricky. This is where the taunter's gonna come in really good, uh, really good use. I'll wait for those sentry bots to come back out again, and then when they go back into their little doors, that's all use a taunter. I should track them all, and then go back to hollow guys before those guys come back. That guy used the wall up on all these. Uh, Sentry boss as well. And once again, they don't realize that all of their Robomuts are gone. 
Again, Clank was just being the exception for some strange reason. That he was actually programmed with intelligence, despite being called a defect. While the others were just born being tough. I guess intelligence is just not welcome among Dreads. Uh, army. Okay, so I'll wait for this guy to come back. Don't make me freeze between you and that uh, and that door, please. I don't want that. Cause a lot more hassle than than I already want on this uh, mission. I'll go back at this door. I'll wait for this sentry about to come back. Gotta make sure I'm. Far enough that the door doesn't open, otherwise that other sentry bot from across the room will notice me. Yeah, wait for him to come back. And then when the time is right, I'll go in the first person as well. So that's the kind of what I want. No, no, no! Ah, dang it. Well, that, so much for that skill point. I thought I could uh, use the weapon wheel while in first person for some reason, but that obviously didn't work out. Well, that's unfortunate. So much for that skill point. And we just gotta go through this all over again. Fantastic. But I wonder I could still salvage this if those, uh, if those turrets never hit me. I'm kind of curious about that now. But I highly doubt it's gonna work. I think it's gonna be the end point for this stealth section. Let's just punch you and find out what happens. Nope, I didn't get it. That's unfortunate. Might have to leave and come back, but I'll be sure to do that a bit later. See the light cruisers next. With all those Robomuts again. My time's gonna be too far for me to, to use it against them, so... Uh, it's a bob away! Let's see how much I can take out. Uh, quite a lot. I think I only got all but one, wow! That was really good, even for Visibomb standards. Of course, it's a swing shot versus a target there. Of course, I have to be one when it's not my weapon set. You out, take you out. Part of me is kind of hoping that there's more to this whole stealth section, but I don't think there is. I'm starting to worry. Slowly wall toward this door. Okay, there is more. So there might still be a chance. I never got hit by that, uh, by those turrets. Well, turrets I use the word loosely, but. I wonder if I can still salvage this. It's only just the one over there, so... First things first, I gotta use the Devastator to wipe out that lone sentry bot. And then... Well, I could turn her now, but... I'm gonna wait till those sentry bots pop out and, and then go away again. I'm gonna turn around. And then, we'll insult these guys so much that they'll have to run towards us. Actually, I'm going to be a bit, bit risky here. Use my Devastator to speed up the process. Alright, nothing in there. And nothing over there. There should be another... Is there another one over there? Yeah, there is. They'll just devastate him. And... Oh, I still got it! Good! Good! I guess I never got hit by the turret, so that probably still counts. Oh, great. I got really worried. I was so worried that I blew that skill point so much. Thankfully, I didn't. I guess, like I said... Probably because I got never got hit by those security turret things. That the still that the skill point was still in effect for me. That's the only reason I can think of that I was still able to get despite getting noticed once. 
But you know, despite all the stress you have to go through in trying to get that skill point, I actually like doing that. I say this before, but I like stealth sections of video games, just not stealth video games themselves. So that was quite the rush, uh, the rush I had. So let's see, we shouldn't be that far from finishing this. Actually, this is the final ship we have to go through, so I was thinking about ending this at first, but you know what? We're gonna finish this too. This is the last ship. We're not that far from our from our, uh, I guess, current objective now. Let's travel along here. Keep waddling along. So obviously we can't go through this part. The gunfires are the gunfire for the turrets are deadly. We'll have to find a detour. Of course, that's where that magnet platform comes in. Don't worry about getting hit by that uh, by that gunfire. You're barely out of range in order to get to this platform. And now once again, we can board another jet fighter. So we'll have to take out those turrets ourselves. Yeah, kind of got my uh, controls confused for a second. So those, uh, those missiles, you can take them out, I think, probably two to four at best. But be sure to go after these block saucers if you are going to use the missiles so constantly. I wasn't just crash into that ship. Wow, that was pretty funny. I did not expect that to happen. I never had that happen before, come to think of it. That was really fortuitous. I hope the same thing doesn't happen to me now that I'm all, I guess, a bit more cocky than I usually am. Got a full set of missiles to work with as well, so I'll just might as well use that. Make use of taking out those turrets a lot quicker as well. Despite the fact that I'm taking constant hits now. I got plenty of health to use, so I'm not that worried. Go around here. Take out all these all these uh block saucers. It's a shame that there's no U-turn feature on all these jet fighters, so you gotta make the long trek of swinging around and then going after back to your objective. And it's so weird that since Ratchet is now using the pilot helmet at this very moment, he's actually using his mind to control the control the fighters. Well, his jet fighter rather. It's so strange how that happens because I just find the logic so silly that Ratchet's using a helmet to pilot a jet fighter instead of his own skill. Despite the fact that I think Ratchet's a pretty competent pilot himself in his universe. Still, the whole thing, that's just really silly to me. But then again, imagine how useful that would be in the real world. No skill whatsoever on piloting any aircraft. Just put on a pilot's helmet, control it with your mind. You're just good to go. If that was the case, I would probably consider having a future in... In, like, some sort of flight occupation. <laughs> but one can only dream. One can only dream. A lot of uh, Robomuts over there. They're not part of the stealth section anymore. We long got the skill points, so you don't have to worry about them too much. As a matter of fact, I think we may have scraped by the secret area in this in this level. I think there might be through one of these doors. Is it through this one? No, that's the end. So the secret area is through here. There's nothing I can use to the, to control myself. Well, not control myself, control these guys into leading to. Unless they can charge themselves into those lasers, which is good enough for me. Now, I'm pretty sure there's going to be another sentry bot or two on this door. Through there. I'll try to devastate them very quickly too. I missed one! Thought I got that guy too. I'll have to grit and bear the hits then. I don't care if I'm taking damage, I can do this. Uh, that's the claw there. You could actually have the hollow, the hollow guys out and then use a drone device. That way you could protect yourselves from uh, the sentry bots, I guess. But I'm not sure if that will be a guaranteed. A guaranteed method to use if you go after that skill point. 
because it might end up uh, costing you actually getting the skill points instead. You might think it might be helpful, but maybe in that particular scenario, it probably won't be. At least we got a gold bolt here, so that's good. Now to get back to the end and investigate the head of that ship, which I think we actually seen several cutscenes take place in, so it's pretty cool to think that we can actually go to a place that we've seen only in these infobot, in these uh, a lot of the infobot commercials, some of them, come to think of it, but and also regular cutscenes in the game as well. Tonight on Blind TV, the event you have all been waiting for, the total annihilation of an entire planet! Witness the power, the destruction, and the nothingness that follows. So join Ultimate Supreme Executive Chairman Drek as he pushes the button that ends one world and begins another. Then, stay tuned for the galaxy's funniest superhero bloopers, featuring Captain Quark. Now we know where he is. Let's get him. No idea why there wasn't any subtitles in that, uh, in that last cutscene when Ratchet was speaking, but whatever. I guess it just wasn't necessary because he only said like five words i think and now we've taken care of everything here on direct's fleet turns out he's back at Velden, the very level that we started this whole adventure in so it's kind of neat how everything comes full circle so next time on ratchet and clank we're gonna head back to our home planet and see if we can stop chairman direct once and for all until we meet again everyone well for now actually I don't want to end things off quite yet remember that cold bot we got back at uh, Drex fleet well here's the place we can use it lots of bolts and lots of lots of money we can get as well and that's the only time in the entire series like I said before that the cold bot is ever used it's never brought up again and I, like I said I don't think it's been brought up back to the remake as well so that's kind of a huge waste of a very useless well, seemingly useless item huh? only used once in the entire series so very disappointing rest in peace Cobot we barely knew ye but now that we've got our 37th gold bolt at least that's what I hope we'll have 36? I must have missed some one off somewhere when I was trying to re-record one of the videos. So I'll investigate that, but I'm pretty sure it's nothing to worry about. But in any case, next time on Ratchet and Clank, we're gonna head back to Velt in our home planet to see if we can stop Chairman Drek once and for all. Until we meet again everyone, farewell for now.